Yeah. You're here early, Blueberry. Where's Huck? We're supposed to go to the post office together. Still waiting for a letter from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine? I really hope they want to buy Huck's in my mystery story. I was sure it would come two days ago. <gasps> but it didn't. <laughs> then I was sure it would come yesterday. But it didn't. So I'm positive it will come today. In fact, I believe I'll go down to the post office now. I just can't wait here any longer. It's too exciting! Come on, Scouty! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Anybody here? Ah! Blueberry! <laughs> you startled me. I was looking for my special delivery stamp. Oh, what can I do for you? Did a letter come for me, J.D. Bug? <laughs> Silly me, I forgot. There was a letter for you. Was? It's on the way to your bookstore. Special delivery. On its way to... You're delivering it to... Come on, Scouty! Oh. You knew where it was all along. It's from Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine. This is it, Scouty. Cross your fingers. I mean, toes. We regret to inform you that your mystery story is not what Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine is looking for at this time. Oh, oh Blueberry. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> thing is that Huckleberry was counting on the help it would bring his home for homeless dogs. <sighs> he so needed to sell that story. Hmm. <laughs> what a show off. <gasps> Pupcake hmm? just gave me an idea. How to raise funds for Huckleberry's dog shelter. He did? We'll hold a dog show. We'll invite folks from Berry Bitty Dale and Acorn Acres and all the neighboring towns. It could be a big hit, don't you think? Yeah! Want to be in a dog show, Scouty? <laughs> but what do you show in a dog show? Oh, it's easy. All you do is walk the dogs around on leashes for all to admire. And would fashions be allowed? Well, sure, I guess. Why not? I mean... I'm not saying, you know, everyone has to have them. Just wondering if I could... I mean, you all know Chiffon never goes anywhere not dressed for the occasion. <laughs> of course. Anyone who wants to can have fashions or not. They'll be optional. Excellent. <gasps> Chiffon, want to be in a dog show? <laughs> but a dog show must need doggy hairstyles, right? Sure, but only if you want. It's optional. I mean, grooming is nice, but not all dogs are hairstyle dogs. Well, of course. I wouldn't want to force a hairstyle on anyone it wouldn't work for. Hannah, this is going to be a sensation. You'll look like a star. <laughs> Just walk them in a circle? Certainly we can do better than that. What do you have in mind? Just... You know, train them to do some special moves. Well, I guess it could be an optional thing. But that would look rather disorganized. I mean, if we're gonna have a really fabulous show, we should definitely have all the dogs doing more than just walking. Hmm. Hmm? Just some simple moves. Nothing too complicated. Simple moves? Oh, um... Okay, fine with me. Marmalade. We can come up with a little doggy dance step, can't we? Oh, Huckleberry, I'm sorry about our story. It 
it's my fault. You wanted to write it in a more original way, and I pushed to make it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. <sighs> Don't worry. We'll submit our new mystery soon as we settle on an idea. That's the spirit. We can work on it as soon as we finish training. Training? For what? Strawberry decided we're going to have a big dog show to raise funds for your home for pets. Blueberry, that's fantastic. Wow, you girls are terrific. What do you think of that, Tom Tom? <laughs> Rejected idea? Oh, so sorry, Bosley. I didn't see you there. I need a brainstorm. I'm all out of mystery ideas. Wait, I got it. The mystery of the disappearing mystery ideas. <laughs> <laughs> if you would welcome a suggestion, I've always liked the advice, write what you know. Not a bad idea. But is there anything mysterious going on in our quiet, normal lives? How about the mystery of where in the world did the floor go? <laughs> okay, write what we know. Oh, I know this spot where my pet mobile got stuck. Not sure if there's anything mysterious about that, though. <laughs> it was for the barricades, remember? That's right. They thought my seven dogs were a monster with seven noses. Hey, that would work. I've got it. A monster is terrorizing the berry patch. It has seven noses. And it slobbers all over. At night, it creeps into Berry Bitty City, looking for victims. Stealth Sleuth, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> I mean, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> Stan and Skathy, the stealth sloops. The, I mean, stealth sluice. So, never mind. Too much of a tongue twister. Gus and Betty? Kaylee and Kyle. On the case. That's it! Kaylee and Kyle on the mystery of the slobbering snuffler. I like it! supposed to be practicing for the show. <laughs> it's not playtime. This is very serious. <laughs> now let go. <laughs> you silly. Come back with that. We may not win the dog show, Pupcake. But that's okay, as long as we have fun. Sorry we disturbed story time, Blueberry. Oh, what are you reading today? A very big vacation. Yay! I'll let you get back to it. I'm sorry you missed story time. Blueberry led us a very big vacation. I'll tell you the story. So Strawberry and her friends decided to go on a very big vacation. So everyone in Berry Berry City packed and left. It was real dark in the berry patch. 
But Kaylee and Kaya were on the case. They were going to get to the bottom of this monster mystery. When out of the bushes came a horrible sound. <gasps> Just like the legend warned. First, you hear the noise. Then you feel the heat of the rancid breath of seven noses. Then... The slobbering of seven tongues. <laughs> its teeth were long and glistened in the moonlight. Beady eyes and 14 flaring nostrils. There is no escape from this monster in the berry patch. M monster in the berry patch? Why did we ever decide to visit Berry Bitty City? I thought you said it was peaceful here. Welcome to Berry Bitty City and the Marketplace Cafe. Would you like a table? No thanks. Lost our appetite. Huh? Can't get out of here fast enough. Do you know they have a monster in Berry Bitty City? It has seven noses and seven teeth and long tongues that glisten in the moonlight. I heard that the whole town is packing up and evacuating. My word, it's worse than we thought. Better steer clear of Berry Bitty City. That's it. You've got it. Looking good, Marmalade. Oh, hi, Huck. Hi, Blueberry. What you got there? We're mailing our new mystery story to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Good for you. Good luck. Thanks. <gasps> oh! Uh, JD Bug, did you ever find your special delivery stamp? It's a mystery. It has completely disappeared. <clears throat> Pardon me, but, uh, is this it? It is! Where was it? Uh... Around. Uh, J.D. Bug, we have a package that needs that stamp. Oh! Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine! <laughs> Chin up. Let's strap our stuff. <laughs> that sweater is so style. So chicish. Oh, so you. <laughs> Hey, Scouty, let's see what you can do. Good boy. That's it. Now, how to get you to do the same thing without using the doggy biscuits? Hmm, a mystery indeed. Whoa, where are you going? Wait, slow down! Ouch! Where are you going? Whoa! Help! Oh. Wait, I think if I go under, and if you go over... Ouch! Hold on, Scouty! Stop pulling! Sorry, excuse me! Wow, Plum and Pitter Patch are really advanced. I thought we'd just walk in a circle. We'll just have to practice harder. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, and hop, hop, hop. <gasps> Fantastic! Now, the rollover. That's it. <laughs> That's not a rollover. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Come on, Chiffon. You can do it. Huh? Oh, no. You're scared. Oh, poor Chiffon. This just isn't going to work. Okay, here we go, Cinepop. Forget the walking in a circle plan. We've got a new strategy. You begin here and jump over this one, and then keep going over the next jump, and 
<sighs> it's fun, see? Okay, showtime. Step lively. Hey! <laughs> I said showtime, not dig time. This will not win any ribbons. Cherry! What happened to you? Where's Cinepa? At Lemons, having a bath. Turns out she's more interested in digging than show jumping. Show jumping? Who said anything about show jumping? Ah, uh, you'll see. At show rehearsal this afternoon. Our first rehearsal! Wow, nobody looks very excited. <sighs> For our next story, how about the mystery of who stole the fun out of the dog show? Shall I go first? Why not? Um, aren't you supposed to have a leash? Pitter Patch doesn't need one. He's so well trained. Waterworks? Who decided? Rehearsal is not playtime. So embarrassing. And I bragged how Pitter Patch didn't need a leash. What a fool I made of myself. <laughs> Come on, admit it. We all had a very fun time. It was a great mud fight. I guess I forgot it was supposed to be a dog show and not a plum show. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think it's time to let dogs be dogs and plum be plum. Plum be plum. I, I mean, me be plum. I mean, plum be me? I mean, what do you mean? I was thinking, let's have an opening dance number in the dog show and you solo in it. After all, you are the star dancer. Really? I could be the star? And so the rest of us could just walk in a circle? Exactly. And how about we lose the water sprays? Oh, that's a very good idea, Strawberry. Great job! The dog show is going to be a smashing success. Look, Strawberry, huh? I made these fabulous, fantastic, chic hats. The dogs are supposed to keep those on during the show? <laughs> no, they're for us. Oh, for us? That's very nice, Raspberry. Girls, oh, this is terrible. What's going on, Orange? I haven't sold one ticket. What? I don't think one person from out of town is coming to our show. We sent out flyers, didn't we? We did. I gave them to Jitty Bug. Well, what about everyone from town? Oh, my. When Blueberry gave me all those flyers and asked me to mail them to everyone out of town, I, I, oh my, I forgot to mail them to everyone in town. So, no one, no one in Fairy Pity City but we, us, knows there's even a, I mean, nobody even knows there's a dog show? Do you think we have time to sell tickets to everyone in Fairy Pity City? Not if all the Berrykins already left for the Berry Big <gasps> Berrykin picnic. <laughs> well, did they? Did they? What? Did the Berrykins all go on a picnic? <laughs> Did. Oh, well, we can't have a dog show with no one to, you know, show to. What will we tell Huckleberry? The show was supposed to raise funds for his home for homeless pets. <sighs> <sighs> I can't imagine what happened. Not one ticket sold. Neither can I. It's a mystery. <laughs> Sorry. Uh Yes, this is Blueberry speaking. What? Mr. Toad Simmons? You're the editor of Berry Pity Mysteries? Uh, that's great. Really? 
As I said, I'm thrilled with the fresh and new voice of this mystery. And such a clever setting, a dog show. However did you come up with it? So inspired. I love it. You do? I have to say, that first submission of yours, well, it reminded me of a Patty Persimmon mystery. And I've so been there, read that. Uh, so I'm over the moon to find something so original. We'll publish it next month. Well, that is, if you are still willing to sell it. Yeah! Yeah! I can't believe we did it! We Great did job, it together, Mary. Huck! Got a brainstorm. Kaylee and Kyle and the ballet slipper thief. No! I can't go on. My ballet slipper. It's been stolen. Help me. Don't worry, ma'am. Swan Lake will not be your swan song. Kyle and Kaylee are on the case. What do you think, Pupcake? What? Custard? Mm -hmm. Oh, why, thank you. Hmm, now what rhymes with star? <gasps> I know, far! <clears throat> Up in the sky, so very far. <gasps> Look, what's that? A falling star. One wish to make, what will it be? A lot at stake, you must agree. Little white light, a glittering ball. With great delight, I watch it fall. Soon as it's gone, my wish comes then. To see before dawn, one fall again. Oh, huh? bravo! Delightful, Miss Shortcake, simply delightful. Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next story time corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, twould be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great. I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's Boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. Uh, take your time. Hmm, glittering. Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. I'm so excited. A custom-designed, one-of-a-kind, raspberry original dress for my own poetry night. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have all of your <gasps> merry measurements. Oh. Now I know what size to make your dress so you can relax. <sighs> Would you like to see my preliminary, you know, my first sketches? And you can make any changes you want. Surprise me. I just love surprises. Well, okay then. I guess so. Then I'll just, uh, you know, go with what I had, I mean, have in mind. If that's what you have in mind. Sounds terrific. Well, I've got to get back to the cafe. Thanks. I'll have it ready for you by story time. Falling star from outer space, how huh? doth I wish to see your face? Oh, falling star up in the sky, I see you twinkle with my eye. Don't fly away, you'll make me cry. Oh, oh uh, <clears throat> ah, Miss Shortcake, would you know a word that rhymes with cry? Why? Why? Of course, perfect. I mean, why change so much of my poem? Didn't you like it? Oh, oh no, my dear. I simply adored it. I merely made a few changes to give it more of that sense of, well, being there. The actual moment when you saw the star. Well, to tell the truth, I haven't ever seen a shooting star. I was more imagining 
Oh, my. But to be a true poet, you must write about what you know. To write what it feels like to wish upon a falling star, you must experience it for yourself. Hmm. Hi, guys. Hi, Plum Pudding. Where are you off to, Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star, and Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, uh, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. Maybe she could use the munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. back and forth, but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm no fashion expert? <laughs> always in style, always in fashion, and it only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. There! Hiya, hiya! I'm a strawberry snow dress. How do you like me? <laughs> oh dear! Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh yeah, but now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. <sighs> hmm. Thanks again. What are friends for? She wants everything she makes to be the very best it can be. That's why I say we've got to finish Strawberry's outfit ourselves. Tonight! What Plum's talking about us doing sounds like this story. The shoemaker and the elves. While the shoemaker is asleep, these elves sneak in and make the shoes to help him out. <gasps> we could be like the elves! Raspberry secret helpers! Deal? Deal! Deal. What? 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 <sighs> Okay, no more sleeping. Okay, shh, 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 shh. Thank <laughs> you. 
original design, so I... Uh, well, you see, we thought, well, it was... It was the fashion elves! Fashion elves? Yeah! You know, like, the story about the shoemaker's elves? Blueberry has a book about it. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Kinda like, um... The Berrykins, but with pointy shoes! They know when you're in need, and they come at night and help. Really? Can you see them? Well, um... You can! I mean, you can't. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. Those are the rules. You spy on fashion elves, they run away and never come back. That's right. Elves, Pshh. what are you gonna do? It must have been because you were wishing so hard for your dress to be made. Your wish came true. It isn't that you couldn't have done it on your own. And it's still from your design. Well, not really. <laughs> this is a much more uh, complicated, but wow. If these fashion elves can make a design this complicated in one night, think what they could do with a little more uh, direction. Huh? huh? Now I can really go wild and design something for Strawberry that is extra, extra ordinary out of this world. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, something like, uh, like this. I'll leave a new design up for the fashion elves tonight and see how they do with it. Um, maybe they're... Only one night elves? Uh, possibly, yes. But in case they are here to stay, I better get designing because Strawberry deserves the very best. <laughs> Keep your heels on the floor as long as possible. Don't you think we should tell her the truth? <sighs> How are we gonna stay up another whole night? I was going to until somebody said fashion elves. I'm sorry. <sighs> Releve and turn around. <sighs> Grand plie. Uh, first position. This is a monster of a dress. We'll never finish it by morning. We've got to for Raspberry. Look, let's divide the design in four parts and each take a section. Good idea. See? Now if it drizzles, we won't get wet. We'll just climb into the tent. Oh, muffin crumbs. It's stuck. Don't tell me. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> Morning, Raspberry. We came to see the elves' latest and greatest. <gasps> this is exquisite! Especially this area. I really love this place down here. Hmm. <laughs> But see, it only goes partway around the hem. Hmm. It seems like the elves have gotten off track. Off track? Well, I, I think this outfit is a smashing success. It's fabulous. Just look at the placement of these buttons. So, uh, pleasingly unexpected. But, but, but girls, this dress doesn't look anything like my design. Hmm. But I like this detail here. Oh, 
and this lace over here, and these buttons are quite <laughs> clever, but the whole thing seems like too many of different designs in one. I know! Huh? What are you doing? You're not doing a new design, are you? Uh, no, no, no. I'm writing the elves a note. Well, you could just tell us and... <gasps> Dear elves, please concentrate on uh, one idea and go with it. <laughs> Gratefully yours, Raspberry Tort. <laughs> You see the problem? I really think the best solution is to go with my idea. But I don't know how to tell the girls in the nicest way, so I don't make them feel like I'm, you know, putting down their dress designs. And how many nights have you girls been fashion sprites? Elves. Sorry, I've lost count. Um, four? I, tell you what, I'm about to open the cafe, so why don't you come back at five today and we'll talk it over. I think I'll have an answer by then. Oh, that's great. Okay, thanks, Strawberry. So what do you think? How can I convince them to go with my idea and not hurt their feelings? Lemon, I'm having trouble hearing. Can you come by the cafe at, say, five o'clock? And I'm sure I'll have an answer for you. Five? Great, thanks, Strawberry. Oh, you've gotta help me. My idea is just simplest, that's all, but I don't want to appear bossy, you know. I have to get back to the cafe, but come by at, say, five, and we'll talk it over. Strawberry, you said five o'clock, right? Oh, uh, hi, Blueberry. I'll be with you in just a second. <gasps> oh, uh, oh, hey. Hiya. Uh, hi. How are you? Hi, all. Tea? Muffins? I know. Smoothies! But I thought you said we'd be meeting in private. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, girls, but I just don't feel comfortable taking secret meetings. I have a feeling this is something that we need to get out in the open. I mean, none of you would like the idea of something being done behind your back, would you? But it was only... We didn't mean to, Strawberry! <laughs> we were not just trying to... It's okay, it's okay. I know you wanted to help Raspberry, which is very sweet. I just think being secret fashion elves might not be the best way. But we had to. I offered to help her, but she wanted to do it all by herself. Helping is good, but, well... Pardon the interruption, but here are three of my latest versions of your poem for your review, Miss Shortcake. What were you saying, Strawberry? Oh, it's just... Sometimes you want to make something your own way. You know, it's nice to know you can do some things all on your own. All on your own. Yes. Hmm. Strawberry's right. We should tell her the truth. Oh, but how? She'll be so disappointed. I'd rather make ten more dresses than disappoint Raspberry. Maybe the trouble is that we weren't working together. Let's all agree on one design and start over. Oh, raspberry! Up and at them. Rise and shine, sunshine. Morning's a wasting. <laughs> I've gotten used to oversleeping now that all my work is being done for me. Wow! Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely amazing. Then why do you look so sad? Hmm. Because I didn't make it. I really wanted to make something sweet for Strawberry that was all from me to her. My own design, all made by me. I can't take credit for this, though, even if it is really fabulously fantastic. Although the elves could surely use some practice with their cross-stitching. See, but I'm worried I'm going to hurt the elves' feelings. But I have one more day to make Strawberry's dress, and I'm going to ask them to let me do it all by myself. Listen, Raspberry, you don't need to write the note. There's, um, something we need to tell you.
It's just that I really want to read everyone a poem of my own. Oh, of course. <laughs> You're perfectly right, Miss Shortcake. I I'm afraid I got a bit carried away. I hope you know how much I always appreciate your help, Mr. Longface. As I appreciate yours, Miss Shortcake. Your poem reawakened my long-lost love of poetry. Oh. oh, girls, I know you were just trying to help. Well, if I fail, at least Strawberry could wear the dress you made. Well, I've got a lot of work to do. Maybe there's another way we can help you, Raspberry. Huh? Too simple, Strawberry. I have a backup dress that is... Oh, I'd know a raspberry design anywhere. It's beautiful. I've done a lot of things so far, but never wished on a falling star. I've heard they're sparkly, fast and white, with glittery tails that light the night. Maybe. They look kind of prickly or furry. Someday I'll know, but I'm in no hurry. Who knows where I'll see one or when? I guess I'll just save up my wishes till then. In the meantime, I'm just having fun. Imagining the time when I do see one. <laughs>
looks like oh, uh, some sort of gold box. I wonder what's in this. <laughs> Sorry. There's a book in here. The one we used to read for First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original. One of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful Berry Grove. <gasps> but the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern, because it was important to- Wow! They've been carving glimmerberries that long? That's right for many years. <laughs> I have no idea. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because this year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says, oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um. Oh. I guess they didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. 
but not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm, I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm. No, that's not it. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, oh yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just wanted to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, great size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. Where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, that's oh. I think. Can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry Gathering unless... Everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, uh, strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying... But it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anything. 
anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. I'm sorry, Girls, who's copying? Girls, who's copying? Who's copying? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. Hey, hold on a minute. Oh, 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 now it all makes sense. Now I know exactly what to do. Lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's happened? What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah! What's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <coughs> when that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that, the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin. But then, they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait, that's, that's, that's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Come on! Do it! Come on, everybody! How about this 
one. Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah another another second. Second. Give me another second. I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? 